Hi friends, welcome back to our tutorials. We are continuing with our Angular 9 full tutorial series and in today's episode we will learn how to skip some tests in Angular. It's important to sometimes not fix the test but rather skip the test. We'll learn about those use cases, why we need them, is it a good practice and all such questions will be answered in today's episode. Welcome back, my name is Sridhar. I am here to share my knowledge with you all of 10 years as a full stack developer. I am also eager to learn what you build after this tutorial series. So during the course of this tutorial series, if you have any doubts, any queries, any questions, just ask me in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help you. I'm putting in a lot of hard work in bringing these tutorials for you. So I'll encourage if you can support me by subscribing to my channel and liking the videos. Thank you in advance. This is part of the Angular 9 full tutorial playlist. Now we have more than 70 tutorials in the playlist, ranging from basic introduction to advanced concepts. All of these tutorials are with code examples and code explanations. So make sure you check it out if you want to learn and master Angular 9. The playlist link is in the description box below. Make sure you check it out. So we are focusing on the mini series on Angular testing, where we will learn how to test Angular applications. Today, you will learn how to skip some of these test cases that you have written in your application. Let's get started. Let me show you how to do that. But before we get started, let me remind you that it's a dangerous practice to actually skip tests. While it is useful, it's not always encouraged to use skipping your test cases in your application. Uh, the reason being that sometimes it's cost effective and you may want to skip for the immediate use, but in long term, you should never practice this as a habit. That being said, let's talk about why do we need to skip tests? So Angular has the support um, which is supported in your protractor and Jasmine through which you can skip some of the tests. Now, this is helpful sometimes by suppressing a failing test cases. For example, when you are deploying or you're doing a code promotion to other environments other than development, it's important that, you know, sometimes you have to skip some of the failing test cases. Let's say, for example, when you are deploying your code to from development to staging or production or queue environment, and you see that some of your test cases are failing, you might want to not fix them immediately because it may be time consuming. That's when you can skip the test for that particular moment and still proceed with your deployment. Right. So there are three ways to skip Angular uh, test cases. We'll talk about them and see how to do that hands on. Let's first understand them. There are three ways. First, when you are doing it for a brand new application, right? When you are generating from scratch, you have a brand new application which you where you don't want any test cases. So you can skip test cases in Angular. The other use case is when you are already having an existing application and you want to skip it, right? So you already have some test cases, but you don't want any more. So you can skip those as well. Finally, you have few test cases which you want to skip. So these are the three use cases around skipping the test cases. So let's see that in detail. So this is how you would do that. Uh, using Angular CLI, we can use an option hyphen hyphen skip test for new application. For existing ones, you can add in the schematics skip test equal to true and then it will not generate the test cases. Finally, if there is a test case which is failing, you want to skip it, you can write X in front of it and it would skip it. Now let's see how to do that in practical. All right, so let me make some quick notes for you. Angular testing, skipping tests, right? So before we do that, let's first list on all the three use cases we will attempt. First, for new application, right? When you are doing a new application or new project, we will run the command ng new and application name. And we will pass the parameter skip tests. So this will not generate the unit test cases, right? The unit test cases or scripts. Second, 
for an existing application we want to suppress we do not want to generate the unit test scripts right that's the second use case this we will do by enabling schematics and in that we will add skip test to true right let's see that both in action so for now i'm going to close the application clear it and you see we have two applications running one is one conversion one is tasks i'm going to create a new one and i'm going to call it listings right so i'm creating a new okay sorry so uh, you should be outside the project structure and then you will give create a new project by the name listings and i'm saying do not generate the unit test scripts so let's run it and you will see that a new project is generated with options right now you will see when you open this listings application under source app you don't see the spec files right you will not see the spec files here if you see but if you go to other projects like the one that we were doing earlier if you see any of these you would have a spec file right that is because we said explicitly that skip tests so this way it is it will not generate the unit test case right this is sometimes useful uh, if your if your sole focus is to just get the application working right and at this point of time you're not really bothered about testing right at this point of time you are not bothered about testing that's why you can use this hyphen hyphen skip tests so that way your application will generate will create it the new one and it will not have any test cases unit test cases or any it will not have any it will not have any dot spec dot ts files which are unit test scripts right that's option number one when you're working with a brand new application now when you're working with an existing application like the one that we have here right now we have some components it has some spec files but i do not want to generate more unit test in this particular application right so that's where the next option is we will go to uh, angular.json file right in that we will see something called schematics for components and we will enable the skip tests equal to true okay and how do we do that let's see so application is done now let's go to angular.json file okay so you would see something called schematics and you would also see that is for the component you see here at the red schematics angular component here you can add a feature and say skip test set it to true right so now when you generate a component in one conversion it will not generate the spec files let's see that now in action so first let's navigate to project and then what we'll do we'll generate a component for testing purpose so i'm going to call it conversion conversion 7 let's say now you will see it will not generate the spec file for you you see here it generated the component html ts and scss but it did not generate you the component unit testing file right so that is nothing but using skip test true for schematics components in an existing application right now comes the most important part all right so you already have an application right you already have an application and we want to skip existing test scripts right so let's say when you run any ng test and you see that there are few test cases test scripts which are failing right and you want to suppress them that means you want to skip the failing tests right so how do we do that let's see that now 
So for example, first what I'm going to do, I'm going to run it for you and get some failing test cases. It will take a minute to because it has to build, compile, build, and then show you the output of test. In the meanwhile, if you're liking the video, hit the like button to encourage and motivate me. All right, so it's running the test cases and it should give us an output in just a bit. All right, so we'll see a few failures here. Those are fine, those are intentional, some of them. So, all right, so let's take this example. It says product ID component should create, right? So here, it, let's say this test case is failing, which says product ID component is failing, okay? So let's close this now. We got our report, product ID. Let's go to that product ID component. We have the spec file. Now this test is failing, right? So what I can do, I can just add X in front of it. X means skip this test, okay? So X means skip this test. Now, similarly, let's see it here, right? So here we will in, in front of the failing test script, just add X. So the, a typical, a typical, you know, test case would look like this. You will have a describe statement and it will have multiple it statements in it, which is assertions, right? So you can add X in front of it. It becomes XIT like this. So now when I run it, it will not give me error or it will rather skip the product ID component. So see, I have just product ID component. I have added that XIT. So now it will not execute this test case. Instead, it will skip it. Let's see that in action. All right, while it is being built, have patience. Okay, so now we'll see that it should say that it has skipped one test case, right? So we'll see now it says product ID is not there anymore because it has skipped it. You see, it did not execute that. There is no product ID now, right? So that is how we can skip any test case. Now, let's say there is a component which has multiple test cases failing in it, right? So this was the use case where, so this use case was when we have only one test case, right? This is good when we have only one test case to skip, right? You can add XIT in front of it and it will skip that particular test case. If a component has multiple it statements, Right? Or in other simple words, we can say it has multiple test scripts, right? And we want to skip all the test cases in one go, right? That's when what we will do is we will add X in front of the describe statement itself. We will add X in the describe itself so this will skip the entire test suite right it will skip the entire test suite now a good example of that is your app component or spec see it has multiple it statements right so individually you can say xit or you can just go and say x describe so when you say X describe, it will not execute all of these at all, right? So to show you that first, what I'll do, I'll run it and ng test. So this will now skip all these things because I have added X describe, so it will not execute the app component unit test. It will skip it at totally. All right. In the meanwhile, if you're liking the video, I'll request you to like the video. All right. So here you see now we have order view component, which is failing, right? You can see here order view component is failing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to order view in the test. And I'm going to create one more test. Just copy paste it for now, right? 
so it has two test cases so i'm going to write x describe now you see in our report it will not consider the order i view it at all so now you see there is an asterisk right you see the asterisk that's because it has skipped that now you see here see here order view component asterisk that means it has skipped that particular test script itself so we will see asterisk mark in the report in the report wherever the test execution execution has skipped has skipped the tests right so this is how we can skip either for a new application for an existing application or to an individual test script by adding x in front of the it that is x it and if you want to script multiple test cases of a particular component the entire thing you want to skip you can add x describe itself right so that's how we can skip any of the tests in ang while testing our angular applications i hope you find this useful in the next ex episode i'm going to teach you how to run specific test so far we have learned how to skip them but what if i want to run only few test cases we are going to explore that in the next episode stay tuned i hope you are having fun learning these tutorials if you have any doubts drop me in the comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much